Hey all you bobcats and bob kittens. I hope you and your families are doing great and that you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of processing your emotions. I also want to talk to you about how to perform the proper introduction when you're meeting two people who might have never met before. And before we get into all that, you know what we're about to do. Practice our breathing. And it looks like here to join us for that activity is my good friend Scout. He knew something fun was going on and he wanted to be a part of it. Today we're gonna to do the breathing activity when as you breathe in, you tell yourself I'm breathing in, and as you breathe out, you tell yourself you're breathing out. Let's practice now. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I'm breathing out. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I'm breathing out. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. Breathing out and breathing out. And you can also tell yourself, if that's kind of a lot to kind of process as you're talking in your mind, as you breathe, you can just say things like, here, now, right? Or you can just say, good day, or whatever two words might kind of just help you to be in the present moment. All right, so it's been a while since we have seen each other. We're now um, into May, and I hope that you and your families are in good spirits and that you're doing well. But I also do want to acknowledge that we are in the midst, as I've said many times before, of a very difficult time. And I just want to remind you that it's really important to reach out to and talk about your different emotions. Um, if you're feeling heavy, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling angry, um, if you're feeling concerned, and all of those things are very normal. Again, we're in a very difficult time, one that your families and you and I have never experienced before. Um, and I heard it explained before, um, you got to name it to tame it, meaning with your emotions, um, don't try to like stuff them or put them over here. You have to kind of talk about them to feel better about them. And I want you to know that you can also always reach out to me or talk to someone that you trust in your family or another trusted person using again, technology like phones, zoom, etc. Okay. So process those emotions. It's okay to feel different things. I know I do, okay? We're not alone in this. It's really important to also have things to look forward to. And so in addition to my dog scout, I brought some friends here today to model how you're going to properly introduce people when things kind of reopen, because they will eventually, and when we kind of resume life. So let's imagine that you have a parent or guardian Oh, Scout is really interested to meet this new person. He's going to be my model, and this is a friend, okay? What you would do, let's pretend, oh, Scout really wants this. What you, oh, no, Scout, here we go all over again. Oh, no. So what you would do is you would introduce the friend by talking to your parent first. Because your parent is older, and because your parent deserves that respect, what you would say is, Mom or dad, or uncle, or aunt, or whatever this parent's name is, parent, I would like to introduce you to my new friend, Bunnykins. So you start with the older person, okay? And if you're not sure, like, maybe it's in the future and you're not sure, like, who's older because it's, like, two friends who've never met before, that is an example of a time when it's okay to just be like, hey, I want you two to meet each other, right? But if this is my mom or my dad, I'm gonna say, hey, dad, this is my new friend, Bunnykins. You start with the older person. Make sense? Something to look forward to and something to know. It's polite to introduce the person to the older person first, okay? Thanks for tuning in, Bobcats. Thanks for joining me as well as Scout. He's a good boy, and I hope you have a terrific day. I know I'm going to. Bye-bye.